What's up everybody, Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com I'm bringing you part 4 of the RGH 2.0 install tutorial uh, This video should be pretty short uh, It's simply consists of dumping the NANDs and uh, flashing the uh, the cool runner uh, Let's go ahead and uh, uh, we're working on a falcon here so I'm gonna select Falcon. Oh, it seems like my mouse is about to die. That's pretty much all we need for the time being. I'm gonna go ahead and start reading. I'm using my Nandex still. I do have my JR programmer, uh, but I haven't I haven't messed around with it just yet. But one of these days I'll actually get to it. The uh, the speed of this NAND X is gonna drive me bonkers after after the pleasure of using the demon for a few times. The demon dual NAND by executor is just ridiculously fast um, I was able to read in like 20 seconds right in about 25 so uh, 40 I, you know in the time it's gonna take my Nandex here to read this thing once I could have with the demon read it twice and wrote to it and still had time left over so um, this is the gist of what you're going to be looking at for this video for the most part uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and let it run its course here just about done oh, it's uh, read number one done uh, I should mention that uh, I have my Nandex uh, uh, hardwired to the motherboard uh, the motherboard is plugged into the power supply. Power supply plugged into the wall, but the console is off. Do not turn your Xbox on with the Nandex hooked up to it. There's a 99% chance you're going to burn out your Nandex. Uh, I also have my Cool Runner plugged into my Nandex, not installed to the console. Uh, the next part of the video will be showing the installation process of the Cool Runner. So, if you're gonna install your Cool Runner into the console and then program it, you want to make sure that you switch the switch on it to program. Uh, that way, it kicks the uh, power supply out. Uh, you don't overload the power. So, I'm gonna let this run its course again here, and. I see you at about 3F. Alright, I'm back. That's read number two. Both reads are the same. NANs compare, NANs are the same. Now that we have the uh, retail NAN read, uh, it looks like this one's on. Uh, oh, this stupid mouse. You can see right over here in your 7BL, it's a. Uh, 7BL patch 0 is 14719 7BL patch 1 is 14699 so you're going to want to go with your highest number this 14719 that indicates what dash it's currently on uh, oh neat um, 14719 requires RGH 2.0 in order to RGH the council uh, so we're up here and we got the uh, RGH2 selected and now we're gonna go ahead and flash the cool runner now you see there's there's all these different settings here that you can go with um, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with B for the time being uh, they they say that all of them will work to an extent and you're supposed to try them all uh, and find the one that glitches best for you. Each council is unique in their own way. 
uh, some of them respond better on C, some better on A. They even had to come up with a, a new Falcon timing file here for the real problematic councils. So I'm going to start with B and, and try that out. Now when you got your cool runner plugged into your NAND X and it's not programmed, you'll have a green and a red light on. As soon as you program it, you'll notice that the green light shuts off, but the red light stays on. So now my green light's off. Cool Runner is programmed. So at this point, I'm going to create the ECC. And see, it goes through all of its coding down here. ECC is done, written into output, image, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm going to write the ECC. Now, <clears throat> the next step after this is going to be to go ahead and install the Cool Runner and get it all wired up. So, I will be back uh, with the next part of the, uh, the tutorial.